So something happened to me in the theater while watching this movie that has never happened to me before, and that's hearing the sounds of people sniffling and crying. And it was quite an experience. Andrew Haig's new film, All of Us Strangers, starring Andrew Scott and Paul Mescal, and involves a man who gets a second opportunity to be with his parents again, all while he is meeting this mysterious neighbor in his apartment complex. I just want to let you know I am going to be trying to avoid many major spoilers, but I will be talking about the movie. So anybody who has watched this channel or has been following me on here knows that I'm a big fan of Andrew Haig's films and especially his 2011 film Weekend. So this film was really on my highly anticipated watch list and I am happy to say it is a beautiful addition to his filmography. While I was watching the film, I, I picked up there are some visual motifs to Weekend, and I don't know if this was subconscious or a conscious Easter egg, but there's one shot in particular that is a direct reference, I feel like, to Weekend. Now, I, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still uh, processing it. You know, I didn't like Weekend the first time I saw it. It's one of those things that kind of grow on you, and that's the brilliant thing about movies is that it takes time to process as you live your life you can actually experience new things and then all of a sudden a movie that didn't click with you suddenly clicks where weekend is more of a naturalistic approach to filmmaking you know there's not a lot of music or stylization it's more of just us watching these two people this film on the flip side is really involved it uses a lot of the filmmaking tools that we have at our disposal to you know crank up the emotions and it is way more melodramatic um than something like weekend even though andrew Haig's style has been really just naturalistic and just kind of letting things play out the way they are this is his most you know emotionally charged film it does feel a bit like he's using a lot of these tools, whether it be a zoom lens, whether it be um, music, and he's kind of just really cranking it up for maximum effect. There's a scene that takes place with a great stand-up performance, by the way, with Claire F Foy, who plays the uh, mother of Andrew Scott's character, and there's it's a scene that takes place in a kitchen between the two of them, and it is the most memorable to me. Um, the way it's written and performed is just absolutely perfect. It's one of those those scenes that you, you, you get really kind of cringy or, or anxious because it's so honest and so real and I, I think that one definitely stood out in my mind. Again, not talking too much about the plot and all that, but I feel like in a lot of ways this film perfectly toes the line where if a film becomes too obtuse and too weird and too experimental, there's a very high possibility you can lose the audience. And the film does a great job navigating where they tell you just just enough to to hold on to, to chew on, but still leaving the door open to interpretation and understanding what is going on. We don't need every single film to be a reflection of reality or or, or to pass the, the reality test, like is this real or is this not? Because, you know, it's cliche to say this, but a lot of people have said this, that movies are waking dreams. And this is a, you know, very obvious example of that, like literally. There are moments in the film where it gets very strange. I don't feel like it's going to alienate people because the writing of it really gives the audience just enough to, to hold on to and follow along to without feeling like, oh, this is just too weird. Because yeah. there's still this deep, truthful, emotional core at the center of all of this. Now, I, I'm not, not saying that it didn't affect me, but I feel like if this was something you really experienced in life or what happens in this film, it would it will hit you really hard like in the theater experiencing it with strangers all of the strangers oh shit this is the first time i've heard people around me just crying it, i was emotionally moved but i feel like they were moved on a different level and overall all of us strangers is a potent powerful piece of filmmaking and if it somehow manages to hit you where it hurts it's going to be quite a ride so word of caution to maybe bring some tissues just in case